Welcome to Core Cut today for February 10th, 2023. This is the show where I break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of core cutting right now and give you my opinion on them. Now, this is my opinion. If you want to learn more about these stories, check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. You can find them on corecarsnews.com there so you can read about them for yourself and come up with your own opinions. I'd love to hear from you. Also, hey, could you help us grow this channel? Could you help us support our families? All you have to do is hit that subscribe button or hit that thumbs up. Doing one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us support our families. So with that said, let's start off today with a couple quick deals of the day. Check it out. Uh, Amazon Echo Dots are on sale starting at $24.99. A great deal if you're looking for a way to control your Fire TV, even your Roku. Did you know you can control your Roku through a um, Echo? with voice commands. And it's a great way to play music and more. Check that out, starting at $24.99, price in the show notes down below, or link in the show notes down below. Roku's are also on sale up to 20% off right now, including the Roku Stick 4K, which is on sale right now for $39.99. That's a great price down from the typical $49.99. So check that out, link in the show notes down below. All right, let's get into the story of the day. Starting off with Disney open to selling Hulu. We've talked about the possibility of this from an analyst. Well, Disney CEO Bob Iger was asked about it during their first quarter 2023 earnings call that happened this week. And he said, hey, nothing's off the table. We're considering everything. Now that's not saying Disney is considering or will sell Hulu, I should say. It's just that Disney's being a good business company and saying, hey, what are all of our options? Do we keep it? Do we sell it? Do we invest in it? Do we merge it? Do we, what do we do with it? And that's what they're up to. And there is a lot of good points that Hulu was not very well placed during the earnings call. When you compare it to ESPN Plus, when you compare it to Disney Plus especially, Hulu did not get a lot of love from Disney, which raises the question of what Disney intends to do with Hulu. We'll have to wait and see what that, what that is here in the weeks and months to come. But, there is a lot happening there at Hulu. It's clear that they're still investing it. We just got news of the new King of the Hill revival, so I wouldn't say Hulu is dead. I think there's a few real options here. Number one, that Disney says, hey, let's make Hulu a live TV service. Now, Hulu is one of the largest live TV streaming services on the market, competing up there with YouTube TV, with Slang, etc., Fubo, and more. But what happens if we just take the on-demand content, move it to Disney Plus like we do in the rest of the world, and then sell um, Hulu just as a live TV service, maybe remove some of the confusion about the Hulu on demand versus Hulu live TV. Always seems to confuse a lot of our, our readers out there. So I could definitely see them doing that. I could also see them saying, hey, look, live TV is a thing of the past. Let's sell that business off. Let's take all the on demand content to Disney Plus and see what happens. We'll have to watch and keep a close eye on this. But let me know, what do you think? Who, or do you think Disney should sell Hulu? Who should buy it? There's definitely talk that Comcast would be open to it. Peacock is um, okay, but it's definitely probably not done as well as Comcast would like. And I could definitely see um, Hulu going out there and being bought by Comcast. But Comcast currently owns about 37% of it. Disney, I believe, in, as soon as January 2024, will be on the hook to buy um, Hulu if they don't work out something before then. We'll see what all happens with that. All right. Is there any minor convenience in 2023 that's more annoying than your internet going out? And I say minor convenience. There's a lot bigger conveniences, inconveniences in the world out there. But Comcast wants to help address um, blackouts for your home internet. Right now, they're um, working on a new modem Wi-Fi router that they say they'll have more information about later this year, but it will come with a cellular black backup. So if their network goes out, you'll be able to continue to get internet through a cellular connection like you get on your phone. And they're working on one with a battery backup, which is great. So if you lose power or you lose internet, you'll still be able to connect to your security cameras and other things, other devices that are um, powered by batteries, laptops, phones, tablets, and more. I think this is a great option. I work from home. I need to make sure I'm online and the ability to be able to go and have a battery backup, even if it's just for an hour, say, hey, the power's out, I know it's out, I have an hour, let's say, to finish my work. Well, okay, let me quickly send out some emails, let me let everybody know, let me save my project, and shut down. So I think this is great, and I do love the fact that for security camera purposes and more, cutting the power off, your cameras will keep working if they're a camera with a built-in battery, a lot of Wi-Fi security cameras have that. So I really do love this. They also are saying that they're gonna come up with improved 
Wi-Fi. Specifically, Wi-Fi meant for gaming, so you'd be able to get much better gaming experience over their Wi-Fi than you currently do with the Wi-Fi 6E, I think it was the standard, one of those standards. But they are definitely working very hard with it all. So we'll have to keep a close eye on this. All right, let's keep moving. Recently, Fubo TV announced that Bally Sports was coming. Now, most Bally Sports networks are live. Others will be coming very soon. One of the things we were getting a lot of questions about is where is the Bally Sports app support? Um, the ability to log in directly to the Bally Sports app and then watch your content there. Well, good news is that um, Fubo has confirmed to Core Cars News that the app support with your being able to log in through your Fubo TV credentials will come in the weeks ahead. This will give you access to Bally Sports live feeds, which you can get through the Fubo app, but also a bunch of on-demand content through the Bally Sports app, which will make it a great option there if you're a hardcore sports fan. I think most people will be happy just using it through the Fubo app, but if you're somebody who really wants the Bally Sports app, good news is that support is coming soon. All right, next story up of the day. Walmart is going to offer a buy now, pay later. Now, I've had a lot of questions about this story. Now, how is this different than layaway? Well, layaway is you leave the item at the store and they set it aside and you make payments and when you pay it off, you can buy it. Um, buy now, pay later is a basically a credit card where you buy it, save it, and then you can put the, in, or then you can go and hand over um, or payments every month so you don't have to hand back the item to them. And Amazon does this currently, Walmart does this through third parties, but Walmart's testing a system to do this in-house so Walmart can have your ability for you to go shop at Walmart, make a big purchase, TV in time for the Super Bowl and others, and then take that and go to your store, um, buy it, get basically a credit card and pay it off through that. So it's an interesting way that Walmart's looking to expand and diversify out there. We'll have to keep a very close eye on this. All right, a couple last quick notes here for everybody. I get a lot of questions about how to watch the Super Bowl. And I know every time I talk about this, somebody says, well, just watch it with an antenna. Well, I understand not everybody lives in a place where you get Fox with an antenna. We have a whole post breaking down all the options to watch Fox, uh, the Super Bowl on Fox. Check out the show notes down below. I'll put a link to it down there um, with it. So check that out. If you're wondering how to watch Fox, if you're somebody, the millions of people out there who aren't a big NFL fan, and now that's Super Bowl, you're gonna watch maybe for the commercials, maybe just because it's the Super Bowl, check out the show notes down below. Uh, I have a full breakdown on how to watch the uh, Super Bowl down there. Also, hey, this is your last chance. Ending this weekend, Paramount Plus's free month of service. Check that out. Link in the show notes down below. You need a special code if you want to watch a get a free month of Paramount Plus. Star Trek Picard, love or hate it comes out. There's a lot of other Paramount Plus content coming out that you may want to check out. Also, don't forget, ending this weekend, we have a giveaway. Roku Ultra, $100 Netflix gift card, $100 in Hulu gift cards, and an antenna from Antennas Direct of your choice. It's a great giveaway. Check it out. Well, that's it for our Friday show, folks. A little shorter today. I thank you all for your support. Very excited. I have my entire family coming into town this weekend. They're going to spend a week with us. I'm very excited to have my parents, my brother, and his whole family here. It's going to be kind of fun. So I hope you have a fantastic weekend. We'll be back on Monday with another show. Take care. Be safe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people. Helping us grow. Helping us support our families. It really does help. Until next time, take care. Be safe. I'll talk to you all again real soon.